Minuten.
Light. Have you ever been at home when there was a big storm and your lights went out? Or have you been in a room and suddenly someone turned off the light? What happened? How did you feel? You may have felt confused because you couldn't see anything around you. Light is something we need and use all the time. When it's not there, we realize how much we need it. Light is a form of energy. We cannot feel light. We can only see it. Light comes from both natural and man-made sources. Our natural source of light is the sun. The sun is a huge ball of gas. It gives off a lot of energy in the forms of light and heat. The sun is a star that is very far away from us. It's so far away that it takes about eight minutes for its light to reach us here on Earth. Sunlight helps us to see everything around us during the day. It also provides the energy for everything on Earth. What is another natural source of light? The stars give off light too. They are like the sun, only much farther away. What about the moon? The moon gives no light of its own. It reflects the light of the sun, giving us some light at night when we don't see the sun's rays. Fire is also a source of light. Long ago, people used fire to see in the dark. They carried torches or candles. Let us now see some man-made sources of light. These days, most people use electric lights. An electric light bulb is made of a wire that glows when a current flows through it. It gets very hot, but because it's in a bulb with very little oxygen, it can't get hot enough to catch fire. Neon lights are a different kind of light. They are used a lot for signs. They're made from a gas that glows when electricity passes through it. Laser lights are thin, powerful beams of light. They are made of only one color. Lasers can be focused on a very small spot. Also, the light from a laser can go a long distance without spreading out like other lights do. Now let's summarize what we've learned. How does light travel? Let us now see how light travels. Light travels in waves. It's like when you throw a pebble in a pond and the water makes little waves around it. These waves go off in all directions. Light waves also do this. They travel in straight lines through the air. These lines are called rays. If light travels in a straight line, what happens when it hits an object in its path? Well, light cannot bend to go around something. The light rays are either reflected, absorbed, or refracted. Let us learn these terms in detail. When light hits something and bounces off of it, we say it reflects. Reflected light is what helps us to see. 
We see objects only when light reflects off them. When it is dark and no light is reflecting, we cannot see anything. Some objects reflect light more than others. A shiny surface reflects a lot of light. A mirror is very shiny. That's why it reflects so much light, and we can see ourselves in it. Materials that are dull do not reflect a lot of light. They absorb, soak up a lot of light rather than reflecting it. An old penny that has been passed around a lot has lost its luster, shininess. It is dull. In case of few materials, light does not reflect off them, but travels through them. When light travels through water, glass, plastic, or any other thick substance, it slows down. Think of how you're slowed down when you walk through water. This slowing down of the light speed also makes it bend or refract. Have you ever noticed that when you put a straight straw into a glass of water, it looks like the straw is bent? That's the result of refraction. A thicker liquid like syrup bends the light even more. Let us now see what are transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. We can observe objects to find out how much light passes through them. Imagine you have in front of you a piece of plastic wrap, a piece of wax paper, and a piece of aluminum foil. If you held them up to the light to see how much light shone through them, what do you think you would find? The light would pass directly through the plastic wrap. Light passes easily through clear objects like glass and clear plastic. We call these objects transparent. The light would somewhat shine through the wax paper, but not completely. Few objects like stained glass windows and thinly colored plastic let some light through, but not all. They are translucent. What about the aluminum foil? Light would not pass through it. We call objects that block all light opaque. Probably most of the things around you right now are opaque. The floor, your desk, your chair, even yourself. When light hits an opaque object, it is stopped in its tracks. It cannot pass. Behind the object that blocks the light, you will see a shadow. The sun makes many shadows throughout the day as it hits trees, homes, cars, and people. The size and location of the shadows change depending on the position of the object against the sun. Long ago, people made a clock that threw shadows according to where the sun was, called a sundial. This helped them to tell time. These days, we have found many more uses for light. Because of the way light refracts, bends, we use it with lenses to focus better on what we see. Eyeglasses, binoculars, telescopes, and cameras all use light in this way. Laser lights are used in many ways. They are so powerful, they can be used to cut through things, even thick metal. They can even be used by surgeons to do operations. Lasers are used to carry information. If you buy a candy bar at a store, the clerk passes it over a laser scanner, and it reads the code on the package and tells her how much it costs. 
Light is used in bundles of thin strands of plastic or glass called optical fiber cables. These bundles carry phone calls and emails around the world in few seconds. Now let's summarize what we've learned. Yeah, be no young nigga with the most money. Take a home ski skeeter like I'm just funny. Patty man ain't packs in my left hand. Bing bing bam dum dum bam 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 bam